So here's some more from the WF Klaus Schwab, the people who are going to run your life. Klaus Schwab is getting worried. His WEF 2030 agenda has been exposed by his own arrogance about having penetrated the cabinets with his WEF puppets like Sunak in the UK, mm -hmm. uh, also Trudeau in Trudeau, Canada, you know. mm -hmm. and they now fear the masses rising in a revolution against the elitists and the globalists. New world order. He attacks Brexit and criticizes Trump 2024. They are becoming afraid. So watch this. So now they've been talking openly about doing about pa having all their WEF little buddies in all the cabinets and all the Western governments. <laughs> yeah, for the stakeholders. <laughs> and yes. he said that out loud. Now people yeah. know and people are getting upset about it. Well, here's what he says now. For this reason, what we have seen in the elections, in the United States, in the Brexit vote, this anger of people against globalization and against the elites. If you look what's happening in the United States, particularly, you have this anti-system movement. What we are seeing is a revolution against the system. It's demantling the system, and we see certain elements of this now in the new U.S. administration. So he say, oh, my God, the, the <laughs> people are rising up against the system that we created that we've entrapped them in. People are rising up against it. And by the way, the most important thing to remember about this is none of it's a conspiracy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. This, this melted wax statue of Colonel Clink... <laughs> <laughs> has been very open about this plan the whole time. The idea, they had no idea anyone would have a problem with this. Yeah, every, all those, like, you'll nope. own nothing and love it. They put it out, the statement. People look at it. They're like, oh, everyone's mad. You got to debunk the thing we literally just said. And you can't because you said it. So they got to go, no, but it's not bad. What are you making this into a bad thing? There's going to be no elections. We yeah. have a predictive prescriptive model. Yeah. We, like, you own nothing and like it. You own nothing and like what? it. They yeah. don't. <laughs> Let's listen again. For this reason, what we have seen in the elections, in the United States, in the Brexit vote, this anger of people against... So he's talking about Trump's election and Brexit. Remember we had on a political science guy and he told us that uh, Brexit wasn't local or Trumpism isn't local. Yeah. And that it's across the world and people are sick and tired of the establishment. Mark Blythe or something? Mark Blythe, that's yeah. right. So here we are. And now, and, and he's, all, he's all surprised that people don't want to be controlled by a governing body of capitalists to exploit them. Globalization and against the elites. If you look what's happening... In the United States, particularly, you have this anti-system movement. What we are seeing is a revolution against the system. It's demantling the system, and we see certain elements of this now in the new U.S. administration. But when you look at the bigger picture of the oh. world, what you can say about... So not, that's, this is the Klaus Schwab's little, yeah. little buddy, right? Yeah, this, yeah. Is the, yeah, this guy's the evil guy. Donald Trump or what he's doing over the last two years is, is one very big and important thing he's doing. He's destroying the U.S. alliance system all over the world. I don't know why he's doing it, but in a very systematic way, he kind of, he's our, they're our friends, let's destroy that. They're our friends, let's alienate them. He's alienating America's friends in North America, Canada and Mexico, in Western Europe, in the, in the, in the Far East, uh, in South Korea, Japan. He's in a systematic way for reasons I cannot fathom. He's destroying the greatest achievement of, of the U.S. foreign policy for decades and decades to build this alliance, this global alliance system. We've built the rule-based liberal global oh order. My God. The rules-based liberal global order. Mm -hmm. Hey, tell me you're a fascist without telling me you're a fascist. <laughs> Inclusion. I don't know why Trump would do this just because the populace wanted it. <laughs> He's bewildered. Who cares what the people... Hey. That's it. That's the end of that. So Klaus Schwab getting a little... Free. They're uncomfortable with people expressing themselves 
uh, electorally. That's bad. Oh, they're 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 revolting against the global elite. Boy, if Elon Musk upsets you, don't look up this guy. <laughs> yeah, if Elon, if you're upset at Elon Musk because the TV told you to. Yeah. Don't look up Klaus Schwab. You and, want to say something? Well, I was just going to say, I believe this took place, this was in Egypt. This was after the uh, World Economic Forum. He went over to Egypt. What gets really scary about this is that he starts throwing signals out there to the stakeholders and the elites that are there on how to crush it. Those are shareholders. You're the a share, stakeholder. A stake, shareholders? The shareholders? Not stakeholders? You're a stakeholder. Yes. Got it. But he starts throwing ways in which he suggestion suggesting how to beat it back down and how to suppress the voices of people in this meeting over here. Really? Yeah. I wish I had yeah. that video. Let I, me guess, I could probably find German? it for Friday. Okay, find yeah. it for Friday then. Yeah. I love this guy. I, I love Yuval Harari, his little Igor. He's yeah. like a mad scientist and Igor. Yuval Harari scares me. Yeah. He scares me. I he can't find him. Why? <laughs> when we said that the fourth industrial revolution... <laughs> We uh, I didn't mean the people would have a very real revolution. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Do you want more bugs? Is that what this is about? Do you want more <laughs> bugs? Are we too short on bugs? <laughs> hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Tampa, Boca Raton, Orlando, Dallas, <clears throat> Houston, San Diego, Bloomington, Illinois, Indianapolis, and Levittown, New York. Wow, that's a lot of dates. See you there.